<sighs> Vegeta, did he just get shafted again? I hope not. What's going on guys, Talon back here, Minasan Konnichiwa, Talon Desu. And today is kind of more of an update video. Uh, what is coming within the next couple weeks because it is the holidays and usually the holidays spell big things coming out for games and everything like that. So I thought I'd just go through the stuff that we know, the stuff that maybe, you know, we can predict maybe. And also what could potentially come in the future. And when I say future, I'm kind of mean like February, March time. Because with what we know right now, there could be a little speculation about what we could see uh, in the coming months. So let's take a quick look. So first... I'm going to take a look at what we know, what we have seen on the little news thing here in the Dokken game itself. Uh, as if you don't know right now, we've got the uh, Universe 6 uh, Dragon Ball Super event going on right now. You can farm this Kaba right here. He's uh, he's pretty good. He's a free-to-play unit. And uh, you can put him on an all-tech team with Skinny Tanks as the leader. And you can take down a uh, Kaoken times 10 Goku event. So, pretty good stuff right there. Farmable Super. Make sure you get up to 10. And then, boom, you're good to go. You know, you get stones from every stage. And it's, it's not too hard. I find the... Metal drop rates are pretty good, but this goes until the 28th of December, okay? Uh, if you're wondering why the 28th or why these random December days, Christmas isn't a big thing here in Japan, so we're not really getting anything huge on Christmas itself. Um, I'll get into what will be happening during that time, but for the most part, especially if you're from the States and Europe and other countries like Australia and everything, when it comes to Christmas and New Year's, Christmas is kind of like the New Year's for America or for the other countries. And then it's switched for New Year's. So New Year's here in Japan is very big. It's a lot of family time. It's going back, you know, praying, going to temples and everything. And so that's what it's all about. Though That's considered the big holiday. Everyone gets that off. Pretty much everyone does. Like the only things running, I'm pretty sure, are like trains and a couple of other things. That's about it. Um, whereas in Christmas, everything's opened, everyone goes out, you take your girlfriend out, you take your boyfriend out, whatever it might be. So that is why you're not seeing some kind of big Christmas themed thing. As for Global, I'm not sure though. You'll have to let me know in the comments below what exactly Global is getting. So anyway, so this goes until the 28th. Uh, we also have the Great Ape, uh, little events going back right now. If you want to, you can farm your own ape if you haven't been able to pull any of them and you can get this Nappa. Although the Nappa is, is an okay card. He's got a really rare chance of going ape instead of just simply rare chance of going ape. So, I mean, he's an okay card. You can get this Vegeta, but you can tell this like this Vegeta and this Gohan were definitely made way back when the game came out because it's like SR was like, whoa, back in the day. Now SRs are like, no, SR, no one wants an SR. So, and especially a rare. Although this item here is pretty good. So it increases, it uh, raises your HP up 55% and then for one turn, uh, increase damage by 33% or 30%. So not too shabby, not too shabby at all. And that goes until the 28th as well. So if you want to farm those items, by all means. Um, and then we also have the uh, Mirai Hope uh, event back from Future Trunks. So if you want to farm this Gohan, you can. And then this Trunks is farmable. This Trunks is actually too bad. If you don't have any intel, guys, this Trunks Doken Awaken, you can farm the super. Pretty pretty good, actually. And what a lot of people do is they take this Super Saiyan Trunks and they feed them into that new Super Saiyan Trunks from the Dragon Ball Super. Uh, future trunks. So he's he, it's like a 50% chance I think for farming it in, but nonetheless still pretty good. Um, and then Gohan, if you happen to pull this tech Gohan here, you can get seven of the medals of Gohan here, and you can get the and you can Doken awaken him essentially or rebirth him essentially. Um, I will say right now the Gohan metal drop rate is not the greatest. I had to switch between doing it on hard and Z hard difficulties, so not exactly the easiest. Uh, you know, it says two, but I swear after you've doken, after you've gone through it once, you've doken awakened trunks for the first time, the rates are terrible unless they've changed it. So, um, don't forget if you want to take on stage ten, you have to have Gohan here in your party, the one that is farmable. Then you have to have Trunks here, doken awakened to do stage eleven, and you have to have either of them in to do the last stage. So, uh, but it is a good chance to uh, farm the support items, which are also pretty good. So definitely take advantage of that. Um, other than that, this is going until... Is it talking about the items? Okay, this goes until the 28th as well. So, all of this in here is just simply telling you, it says, uh, Ibento Supporta Itemu. So, this is just simply telling you about the items that you can drop, that it will drop and you can farm and, you know, they're really good to have. So, definitely take advantage of it if you've had to use all your items with the past 100 million downloads thing out. And have to replenish all of your defensive items and healing items and all that stuff, which is really nice. So... Uh, next is, these are just the daily logins, so this, like I said, this is only going until the 28th, so this is just like a, a preview of what we'll get for whatever we get on the 28th of December. I'm not sure what it will be, 
but it's going to be probably some decent stuff. I'm not going to say it's going to be like, you know, five stones a day or anything like that, but it's going to be some good login stuff. You know, we're going to have the, the next token fest out and everything like that. So definitely keep an eye on that. And then this is kind of like what the schedule is showing you right now. So this is all just simply saying that there's a bunch of presents coming out. So this right here, this does not mean stone sale at the moment. We'll probably get one with the next, do next Doken Fest. But this is just simply saying uh, this was the, you know, the daily login stuff. Uh, next, uh, if you don't know, on the dupe system, they have up to the amount of times that you can do the stage to get the power orbs for the dupe system. Uh, or I guess we can start calling it the ability system now, or, you know, dupe system, whatever you want to call it. You do it now five times a day instead of three times a day. Unfortunately, it only goes until the 28th, then it's back down to three for some weird reason. I'm going to be making a video here, probably the next day or two, about my thoughts on the dupe system, uh, what I think they need to change in it to make it a lot better, because it does need some changes. It's a step in the right direction, but it definitely needs some changes in my opinion, so... Uh, definitely leave your comments down below on little things you think would uh, you think could be used to change it I've heard some really cool ideas already and I've pinned them in some of my videos and I've been talking to some of my friends So definitely some cool stuff right there uh, This is just all the events that I just went over uh, XP times three on the story mode seriously just keep this going for the rest of the game guys I mean the game's so far along in its life There is no point in not having triple XP what I do like though right now is that since we have about a week until Because next week is when this other stuff starts coming so right now we have about a week of kind of relaxed time. You know, you have a few events and everything, which I really like. It gives me time to go through the story and uh, up on gems to get like the medals for the dupe system or the ability system to use the gems for anything in the shop that I might need to just rank up in my overall player rank. So which is really nice. So I'm just kind of laid back. So over the next couple days, you might not see as many Doken videos. I already have some recorded from the hunt, from like events that you guys asked me to do and everything. But there might be a couple days where it's, instead of Doken, I'm gonna have other videos on other stuff, which I explained in my video about saying thank you for the hundred uh, to ten thousand subscribers, and also just my thoughts on what I want to do with my channel as I go into the future. So definitely check that out if you haven't seen that. Uh, items, medals, all this stuff. Seriously, just keep this around right here. There's no need to do the whole daily metal things. All right, next, we are getting a big event on the 20th with Future Trunks here. And I will be explaining that soon in some pictures that we saw. Uh, next, yes, we have a world tournament next week. So next week on Tuesday, we'll be getting the Bulma support item. Farm these like your life depend on it. It is easy, it's only 15 act to do, and it's really great to stock up on those gold capsule support items. They're really great. And what will be complete after the Bulma thing? We get a world tournament. Yes, we're getting the next world tournament, world tournament 16. Uh, and yes, the Piccolo is coming back, which I really like actually, and they're allowing, they're basically, they've been showing off snippets and bit here of the LR Piccolo, they just showed off his super yesterday, which looks really cool, and for all of you those who are confused about, oh, it only did like 800 damage or something like that, that is because, from what I can see at least, it looks like you can do a super after like three key or something like that, and I'm not sure if that guy was even leveled up or anything like that, because you have to remember, when you pull him from the, uh, you know, when you pull someone from the store, usually you, you know, level them up and then you get them all up there, you get them up to their max level, and then you test out their super and everything. I'm going to guess that whoever did this, they probably kept their LR Piccolo at level 1, and then just simply show that, hey, at like 7 key or something like that, you can do a super, although he's pretty weak right now. So who knows, you know, they probably didn't even farm the super or anything like that. You know, we don't know any details about that. You know, is it going to have a farmable super? Well, definitely it does with the Piccolos out there. But will there be a change in the super depending on how many key bars you get, like with LR Goku and LR Androids? We don't know that yet. So, and then this Goku here will be the tournament prize. So the Piccolo will be the local rankings again. And this will be your overall global ranking with this Piccolo or this Goku here. This is technically considered Teen Gohan because this is back in Dragon Ball when he was fighting Piccolo in the last world tournament. Uh, so this is all the dates and everything, and that's pretty much all we know, okay? Uh, these are just some banners here. If you haven't gone with the TN, uh, actually farm this TN and go get it if you don't have it. I need to do that, but honestly, I don't like doing the Super Strike events, because I don't know, I don't know, there's something, I just don't like doing them. It's kind of boring sometimes. But anyway, so definitely get that TN if you want to, and the reason is because we are now going to go into here. Yes, we have got some new magazine information with some iffy quality stuff so i'll try to translate as much as possible it has already been translated over on reddit so go check that out i'll leave a link down in the description below those guys are awesome i was at work while this was happening i get back to my phone during my lunch break i was like oh hey there's new pictures oh wow everything's already been translated what the heck so this is just more of an update video for you guys but anyway yes we are getting trunks with the spirit sword all right yes we have we are not finished with that stuff they're gonna milk that for as long as they can just like with vegeto blue and ssr uh rose so 
Anyway, so uh, let's see, if, hopefully, if my thing works here a bit. Okay, so it's, I don't know why sometimes when I zoom in on pictures here, it doesn't exactly work the best, but nonetheless. Uh, basically, it says, uh, number one downloaded, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Uh, if you want to get the game, go to the App Store, the Google Store, all that kind of stuff. And then it basically says, okay, we're getting a new Trunks that you can summon on, and he's Intel, okay? Now, uh, these are just the main pictures that we saw, and then I'm going to show you some zoom-in pictures here in a second. So, first off, with the event uh, coming, it is... Oh, actually, let's go back to this one for a second. So, hang on. Like I said, I need to make sure this zooms in properly. Okay, it's zoomed in as best as I can. I can't move it around, unfortunately, on here, but nonetheless. If you look down here, though, it basically says, uh, Shin Dokon Fesu, okay? Basically, it says, uh... Uh, and then all the way over to uh, January 10th, we're gonna have another Dokken Fest, okay? This is where we get this Trunks. This Trunks is gonna be the one that we summoned. And this down here in the bottom right corner is what he's gonna look like when he's non doken okay? So he's kind of going in that, uh, we're, we're, a lot of people are calling it your pre-Super Saiyan Blue State, you know, halfway, you know, we don't know what it is. There's technically no name for it yet. So hopefully Dub does a good job at explaining that a little bit more, but we're not really sure. So anyway, so that's going to be the summon one, and he is Intel, okay? Now, before you do anything real quick, yes, uh, we don't know if he is technically the Demi uh, Intel God. I'm going to get into that a little bit, my thoughts on that in just a second here, okay? So, but then you can obviously do the feature event that will come with it. You can Doke and Awaken him, and he goes to a TUR, and I'm assuming this is what his art's going to look like with the big sword and everything, which will look really cool, so yeah. All right, so let's go into the next one. This is during the event. There is a formable one as well, which is really cool. I actually kind of like this art better because <laughs> he's always like walking. He's like back when he was fighting Zamas and Goku Black. He's just like, oh, you guys are going to pay, <laughs> you know, just stomping, earth shattering and everything. He's like, oh, man, this, this dude means business. So anyway, so you can farm this Trunks right here. And yes, if you're able to pull the other Trunks from when we had Super Saiyan Blue, Vegito, and Super Saiyan Rose Goku or Goku Black, then you can take him and you can farm him into the non doken form. Remember with the dupe system, you can reverse him now and then just farm these in, essentially. Uh, he is a strength card, though. So he'll be an SR, re re awaken him to an SSR, and then awake doken awaken him to an SSR, and then wake him to a, you know, to a UR, essentially, okay? So this will be him. He's a strength card. Um, in terms of his abilities, we haven't really been given much. So that's the thing. So I'll get into what the better pictures show here in a second. So if you're actually able to zoom in, this is what a little bit more of a clear shot looks like essentially. But so this is the Intel uh, trunks here. So max level is at, max level is 100 as an SSR when you pull him, and then you can doke and awaken him here on this uh, a little bit to the left here. Unfortunately, I can't really zoom in and move it. I can like, I can zoom in, but I can't really move it. So sorry, I don't know what the limitations are here. But nonetheless, you can doke and awaken him, and then becomes I think he becomes the trunks holding the sword. He's like ah, so yeah, pretty cool stuff right there. Uh, so we know he's an Intel. We don't know if he's a Demi card, Demi Intel God card though. A lot of people were hoping Vegeta would be, including myself, would be the Demi God because he, his God, his Super Saiyan Blue cards need a Doken Awaken. They need a Rebirth or whatever you want to call it. They need something to help them stay relevant. Vegeta has been shafted so many times, and I don't care what anybody says. And you know who I'm talking about, especially the guys that I talk with all the time on Twitter. I don't care. I love Vegeta. Vegeta's cool. So, uh, hopefully, you know, we don't know. Trunks could be the Intel Demigod card. He might not. We don't know. We have to wait until info comes out. There is a high chance that he will be, but it is not 100%. So, hopefully, though, something happens with Vegeta. At least with this whole survival next arc that's coming out with Dragon Ball Super, maybe that's the time Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta will finally get to shine. And maybe Ultimate, Ultimate Gohan. If you haven't seen spoilers for that, there are a lot of videos popping around on YouTube right now about that. But anyway, so that is what's happening right there with Trunks. And then, so then, his, so this one's Intel. The strength one that you can, it's farmable. You can probably take that strength one and uh, throw him into this one to farm the S and to farm his super. But I don't know how much the chances are. I mean, that's going to require a lot of items and money. So I uh, kind of take it with a uh, grain of salt. And then finally, we're in the next LR card. LR Frieza, that is correct. Vegeta, once again, getting shafted. He is not the next LR card. We are getting the LR Frieza with uh, his two little minions back there. And yeah, it's he's going to be a strength card because it says Chikata down here. And he can obviously go to max uh, level 150. 
and it's a Frieza. Now, finally, we get to, and the only way to go about this battle is with Super Strike cards. And finally, the, all of those agility Super Strike cards that they've given us, you can use them. Vegeta, Tien, and Pycon. Make sure you have them and go to town on this event, okay? It's gonna be really, really helpful. If I had to think of a team right now, uh, I believe Pycon is the best one because he ups the key of, I'll take a look actually here in a second. I won't, I'm not gonna just guess on this, you know? Um, but anyway, so you'll be able to build a team around that. Definitely bring uh, Jackie Chung because he can steal supers, bring General Tao because he can stun him. Uh, just don't bring Mech Frieza and uh, King Cold. Ironic because Frieza fighting Frieza. Who would have thought it? So anyway, so that is basically all the info that we are getting from this magazine. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's uh, I can't really give much more information. Uh, if the Reddit has uh, um, you know found any little kanji that I can't, like I said, the pictures have the greatest quality. So I simply just translate as much as I could and then give you my thoughts on it. So um, real quickly. If we go into the library of the encyclopedia, PyCon. Let's find PyCon real quick. Here we go. And okay, so PyCon here ups strength and agility key plus three. And he lowers attack. So that's actually really good. Lowering attack is going to help a lot against Frieza, which is really, really good. Uh, Vegeta. Let's see, Vegito. It's going to be in here still. Um, at least he should be. If not, he's back in the sand part. Which it looks like he might be. Ah, here we go. Okay, Vegeta. Here's a Super Strike card. Uh, tech and uh, Agility Key plus three. So either Vegeta or Pycon is going to bring the ones you want to bring. And the reason I say for tech is because you could bring along Skinny Tanks and you could bring along Jackie Chung. Skinny Tanks is a nuker and uh, Jackie Chung steals Super. So that's actually might be a really good combo to bring Vegeta instead of someone else. So definitely very good. Um, and then Tien, he's just simply there for blocking, essentially. He's not the great, he doesn't have a great uh, key lead or uh, leader skill. So don't really want to take him. But yeah, other than that, that's how you're going to be able to take on LR Frieza. I do not know if it's going to be around for a certain amount of time. And then they're going to do it only on Sundays like to do with LR Goku. I've basically given up on LR Goku. I don't see any point to having him. Now, a lot of people are hoping that Frieza is going to be a lot like the androids because if you notice... LR Goku and the LR Androids can only link for simply being an LR card. They only up like the attack or something like that. Uh, if I go into my own LR Androids, and the only link I know of, yeah, is, is these two. When performing a super, your attack goes up 5,000. Okay, great. That's about it, I believe. Uh, I can even go in here. Shocking speed, no. Uh, key plus two for those. Uh, nope, attack plus 10. Nope, key plus two for the Androids. Yeah, nothing. So they don't really link except for simply being an LR card. So what a lot of people are hoping is that Frieza here, the LR Frieza that we get will have like shocking speed or I think it's like Menace or something like that, but they'll be able to link a little bit more and you can actually run two LRs on your team and they can actually link and help each other out a lot. So that is what a lot of people are hoping, but we'll have to see exactly what happens when LR Frieza comes out. We don't know any more details. We don't know any passive skills, leader skills, nothing. That magazine did not give us anything. So. We'll have to wait until next week. So, and technically, it didn't really state when we're gonna get it. We're just simply getting it sometime. So, it might not even come on the 28th when we are getting that future trunk stuff. So, we don't know. Um, other than that, that's about all for the video, guys. Uh, kind of long, unfortunately. I really rambled on a bunch. But nonetheless, I want to give you all the information as possible. And there you go, and you have it. So, anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you liked the video. Put your comments down below about your thoughts about Trunks being the Intel demigod. You think Vegeta got shafted again? You don't care? All that stuff. Uh, leave your thoughts on LR Frieza and all of that. And once again, Vegeta getting shafted because we all thought he'd be the next LR card. But who knows? Maybe Vegeta will make a comeback surprise. Who knows? Who knows? I doubt it, though. I mean, this is Japan. They all, they all love Goku. So... Uh, anyway, and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. It always appreciated and it helps out a lot. So, anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Minasan, John, that.